Good morning everyone, it is day 9 of interrailing as much of Europe as we can in 30 days. Yesterday didn't go to plan, we ended up spending about three and a half hours in a little town with nothing but a quarry and a train station because we missed the connecting train. We ended up in Zagreb, Croatia at about 10 o'clock so we didn't get to see anything last night. It is 7am, we're going to head up now for a couple of hours. We've got a train plan for 10am, we need to get to because that's where we have booked our accommodation in advance for the first time this trip. We're both super excited for Budapest. We've been there before. We both loved it last time. But first of all, let's go see Zagreb. Well, there's definitely enough to see in Zagreb anyway. This is the main cathedral. Lamak in Croatia. Tick. Second landmark of the day, St. Mark's Church. It's probably one of the coolest roofs I've ever seen. Look at that. It Tons looks of tiles. It looks like it's like embroidered almost. Yeah. It's like, like a tapestry. Yeah, it looks like a little blanket that's been put on top. It's yeah. tiles. It's really cool. And it's different to all the other buildings because all the other buildings have got orange tiles. I don't know if you can see, but the funicular is just behind me, and apparently it's the shortest funicular in the world. It is literally only from there to here. Not gonna lie, from what we've seen from Zagreb so far, we're not overly impressed. We have been to Croatia before when we visited Dubrovnik, and it's absolutely stunning down there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I expected more, but I'm not gonna complain too much because we're gonna move on. We are. Zagreb's almost split into two towns. You've got the lower town and the upper town. We're currently in the upper town. This is the viewpoint for the lower town. But we're going to head down to the lower town. We're going to take a long walk along the street. There's a big square supposed to be down there. So we're going down there. We've just come back to the apartment now. We've got about 10 minutes before the train. We've picked up some lunch for the train. Got some potato balls. And six massive chicken breasts. I think it's time for the game plan. Step number one, we're gonna to head to the train station. There's a direct train leaving in one hour. Step number two, we should arrive at about four o'clock. We're gonna to head to our hostel and we are gonna check in. And step number three, we are going to spend the rest of the day exploring, seeing some landmarks, eating some food and drinking some beer. Let's go. Gonna need this. on the train now I think everyone else is backpacking as well it is a direct train and it's probably one of the more popular spots as well so yeah full of backpackers we've just arrived in Budapest we're so excited to be here we've been here before we loved it for you guys that train journey was only about 10 seconds for us it was six and a half sweaty warm hours there was no air con there was no air it was full but we made it we're happy to be here we're gonna head to our hostel and check in first and then we will give you the game plan well we've made it to our hostel we've got a four bed dorm with a kitchen and a bathroom and so far there's no one else here, but we're not getting our hopes up too much. Yeah, we won't get our hopes up too early, but so far this one we've got one up here, one down there. Then there's another two beds here, but no one's there so far. Through here we've got the dining area, kitchen, and the bathroom is here. Oh, perfect. I think it's time for a game plan. Step one, we're going to shower up, freshen up, and get changed. Step two, we're gonna grab a nice cold beer. And step number three, we're gonna explore Budapest. We're all fresh step. Quick beer in the hostel bar. Cheers. Cheers. It's in the hostel bar now. That's the bar. This is the bar area. That's the kitchen area. And there's beer bar. Maybe later. We've got things we wanna see first, but we might come back. We're heading out now. We've got an hour till sunset. We've got five stops we wanna head up, so this is gonna be quick. This is St. Stephen's Basilica, you can go up to the top and there's a good view. We have been up there before, you can't go up there now because the time is closed. If you are you, go up, it's a really good view up there. So we highly recommend, but we can't go up now, so on to the next point. Yeah. 
Last time we came here was February and it's definitely busier here in August than it is in February, that's for sure. The sun is setting in the distance, look how nice that is. And a tram is gonna pass now. Pretty. So pretty. Our next stop is the Parliament building. It's very, very beautiful, but the best view you can get of it is over the other side of the river. A quick free metro ride across. Didn't mean to be free. We couldn't see the ticket machines we got on anyway. There was no one there. Oh, but cool we upside. told you it was pretty. Uh... Pretty cool upside down too. Okay, next stop. Next stop on our little Budapest tour is the Fishman Bastion. This place is the most Hogwarts looking place you will ever see in your life. Apart oh, from actual Hogwarts. It's more Hogwarts than Hogwarts. There's quite a lot of people up here considering what time it is, but you can see why, because the pictures you can get up here are absolutely incredible. Literally the most amazing view you can see of a Budapest, and it's free. We're at our last stop now. This is Buddha Castle, which is another really nice building. It is getting dark because the sun has set and the GoPro doesn't really show really good in low lighting. There's a couple more stops that would normally be good. You've got the chain bridge, which is under construction at the moment, just there and it's closed. And then you've got Gala Tail in the distance that way, which is really good for sunrise. But again, the top of it is under construction, so you can't go up there. So, we have a new game plan. We are currently on the Buddha side of the river. We need to head to the Pesh side of the river because that's where everything really happens. We're gonna grab some food because we are absolutely starving. We need a drink as well because we are really thirsty. We're gonna head to a really cool ruin bar, which is also really popular. Fun fact about the landmarks in Budapest, they all light up at night. So the castle up there is lit up. You've got the parliament building across there is lit up. The Fisherman Bastion is lit up. The St. Stephen's Basilica is lit up. You've got that building there lit up. That must be something, another one there. It all just lights up really bright at night and it's so nice to look at. Okay, we're gonna have our food outside of the spa. Nice little date night. The camera is on top of the bin. And then we're gonna head to the Ruin Bar and check that out. It's really cool. It's starting to get pretty busy in there, it's 10 to 10 now. When we got there, it was not that busy. And it's also got this cool street food place right next to it. That's definitely worth checking out. Back at the hostel. Okay, we left our hostel, we've come to the pool bar that we were at three years ago. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. There's like eight pool tables all the way down. 